Hello, I'm Alice, and I'm a children's librarian at the 95th Street Library. To celebrate activism awareness, I am recommending this book, We Are Water Protectors, written by Carol Lindstrom and illustrated by Michaela Goad. A gorgeously illustrated book and winner of the 2021 Caldecott Medal, it is inspired by recent indigenous-led movements in North America protesting oil pipelines crossing tribal lands and waterways. It is both a beautiful book and a powerful call to action for environmental stewardship. Hello, my name is Eva. I work in adult services at 95th Street, and I help put together a list of titles for this month's theme of activism and protest. So one book that I really wanna highlight for you is this one. It's called Songs of America, Patriotism, Protest, and the Music That Made a Nation. It's by historian Tom Meckham, or John Meckham, I'm sorry, and the famous country singer Tim McGraw. Between the two of them, you're able to get a really wonderfully complex and thoughtful approach to the history of protest, activism, and um, differences of opinion in America, all the way from the revolution to today. You'll recognize many of these songs that they talk about, but you'll also find a lot that you didn't realize were used for certain um, movements or you didn't, un you didn't know at all, especially the older ones. It's full of colorful pictures and um, wonderful stories and asides. And I highly, highly recommend you check it out if you're interested in history, music, or both. A second title I wanna highlight for you is called March of the Suffragettes, Rosalie Gardner Jones and the March for Voting Rights. It is a biography and history of a forgotten moment in history. In 1912, she called herself General Rosalie Gardner, led a group of women over 175 miles on a march to the Capitol to protest for women's suffrage for voting rights. And, um, and along the way, she worked with wonderful people. She met wonderful people. Her friendships are explored in this and the women who were part of the um, movement and the way that they made this happen. Um, but they also talk about some of the harder parts of the journey from sim simple things like blisters to uh, the people who were very uninterested in women getting the right to vote and the conversations that were had and everything else. It's written in a novelistic way, so it reads like um, Rosalie is, is telling her own story to some extent, um, but it still is written very accurately with footnotes and all kinds of wonderful detail. So if you enjoy historical stories, but sometimes they seem a little boring to you, this might be a good place to start, especially since it's so often forgotten. Um, because as the book begins and says, how far would you go for something you believe in? They went 175 miles on foot. <laughs> So this book is in the teen section of the list because it was written with young adults in mind, but I recommend it for all ages. Um, so I hope you check out these books and others and enjoy the rest of the list. Hello, my name is Nicole and I work in the Adult Services Department at the Naperville Public Library. And during the month of July, the library will be focusing on various books in our collection that have to do with activism. One such book that I would like to mention today is the graphic novel March. March is an autobiography written by John Lewis, who was one of the great civil rights activists of our time. This book goes into detail about Mr. Lewis's life and what led him to be part of the civil rights movement. I would recommend this novel for both teens and adults, and it's highly engaging. I hope that you will check books like March out this month at the Namesville Public Library.